Welcome to Me and My World, the All About series. This YouTube educational video is designed for use as support learning material to be used in conjunction with our learner activity book on All About Teeth. We are constantly adding to our collection. Check back often for updates and new videos. What are teeth for? Do you know what it would be like if you didn't have any teeth? Well, for starters, you wouldn't be able to eat an apple or a burger or even a crisp, fresh salad. Wow! Imagine not being able to eat all these wonderful things. So teeth are very important for eating. Why? So that it can help us to bite our food and chew our food so that you can swallow the food. If you didn't have teeth, you wouldn't be able to talk properly. Oh dear! How does our teeth help us to talk? Very good! Our teeth help us to talk clearly. Why don't you try it? Hide your teeth with your lips and try to talk. Are you able to talk? No! So teeth are very important because it helps us to talk clearly. If you didn't have teeth, your smile wouldn't quite be the same. <laughs> so our teeth are very important. We need our teeth to eat. We need our teeth to talk and we also need our teeth to smile. Now look at the activity on page 3. What are our teeth for? Let's complete the matching activity. Activity. Choose the correct word from the box and try and complete the sentences below. Now let's take a look at how to take care of our teeth and how to keep our teeth healthy. Number one. Avoid too much sugar. Sugar is tasty but very bad for your teeth. Eating sugary foods or sipping sugary drinks is very bad for your teeth. Some sugary foods that we must not eat a lot of because it is bad for our teeth are fuzzy drinks, a lot of Cakes, sweets, ice cream, chocolates. Too much of all of these sugary foods are not good for our teeth. You must be wondering, but why is it so bad for my teeth if I eat a lot of sugary foods? Well, listen carefully. Because sugar attracts bad bacteria. When you eat too much of sugary foods, like too much of sweets and too much of chocolates and too much of ice cream and cakes, or if you drink too much of sugary fizzy drinks, what happens? A bacteria called a plaque bacteria will start to eat that sugar that you are eating 
and when this harmful bacteria eats the sugar that you are eating in your mouth they create acids and the acids are very very bad because they attack and damage the part of your teeth called the tooth enamel the tooth enamel is very important because it is protecting your teeth and making your teeth very shiny the name of this bacteria that is using that sugar to make acids that attack your enamel that bacteria is called plaque bacteria that bacteria can give you cavities and cause holes in your teeth and that is why we must not eat a lot of sugary foods foods that are good for our teeth are fresh fruit fresh vegetables dairy products like milk and cheese they are all good for our teeth number 2 We need to brush our teeth two times a day. Every morning before you go to school and every evening before you go to bed. And number 3, we must visit our dentist often so that he can check if our teeth is strong and healthy. Now turn to page 4 of your activity book Keeping teeth healthy Let's try and complete activity 1 Circle all the foods that keep teeth healthy Once you are done with that part of the activity take a look at the activity below List all the foods that would destroy your teeth what does that mean you must write down the names of all the foods that is bad for our teeth you can also draw pictures of those foods that are harmful to our teeth Now turn to page 5 of your activity book. How to take care of my teeth. Let's take a look at activity 1. You are the dentist. Who is a dentist? Well, a dentist is a doctor. who is specially trained to care for teeth when you visit for a checkup your dentist will look at your teeth and he will look at your gums to check if you have any problems the dentist also wants to make sure that your teeth are growing properly as you grow it's very important to visit your dentist at least every 6 months so that you can make sure that you are taking good care of your teeth and that your teeth and gums are healthy how to care for my teeth now let's look at activity 1 you are the dentist you remember who a dentist is Yes, we have just spoken about it. The dentist is a doctor who is trained to care for our teeth. Now you are the dentist. One day, Sibo comes to you and he asks you a question. Good morning, doctor. How can I take care of my teeth? Right. Let's take a look at the activity. Now, in this activity, 
You must answer Sipo by completing the sentences below. You will see a little green box with five words in it. Let's read the words together. Evening Sugar Dentist Two and morning. We see five words in our green word box. Now you have to complete the following sentences. Let's do number one together. Number one says, Avoid too much of. What should we avoid too much of? Yes, avoid too much of sugar. So the correct word to complete that sentence is sugar. As soon as you have used the word in your box, take your pencil and strike it off. Now complete number two, three and four.